And welcome back. Okie dokie. So last time we took care of some thieves and now we shall return the ceremonial staff to its rightful owner. Okay, we see brigand tracks as well. Oh, never mind. That's actually, that's actually the brigands that we took care of. Brain is working, but it's working a bit slowly, it seems. Anyway, let's head into Forstland. It's going to be night time, probably. Oh, never mind, it's not. All right. Uh, let's quickly check the recruits. It's f the place is filled with hunters. I don't think I want a hunter at the moment. Now, what is the selling price? 17. Okay, that's good enough. So let's sell some stuff here. Not that we have all that much, actually. Currently. Alright. Now, I think what we should be doing is finding more stuff that we can sell here. Which means killing people. What was this? It's called Caravan to Sonheim. Sonheim is over here. There is nothing there, basically. But, eh, I don't know. Might want to do that. Boost our relations a little bit. We do need some medicine, actually, pretty soon. We don't have any available here. Alright, uh, let's quickly check the Fletcher as well. Uh, let's buy one stack of ammunition and I suppose we'll just take the caravan. Alright, been a while since we... Okay, what the hell is this? Come, come, I've a bet to make for those brave and fast enough to think they'll win it. Raise my horse. Okay, I think, if I recall correctly, only a dumbass will get a good result out of this event. And luckily, we do have a dumbass in the company. I can think only of Wolfgan to be dim enough to raise a horse. There we go. You elect Wolfgang, the company's biggest idiot, to be your horse racing champion. The horse's owner takes one look at the man and raises an eyebrow. Well, all right. The rules of the race are clear. First, to a distant apple tree is the winner. The man and animal line up on the track, pretending that he knows what he's doing. Wolfgang crouches in a tri-pointed stance. The horse owner yells and slaps his beast on the buttocks. Wolfgang releases into a nice stride and shockingly gets ahead of the horse, but he's unable to handle his speed and tilts into the second lane and collides with the beast. The horse buggles at the knees and flips head over hind, and Wolfgang somehow ends up in the curve of its loins, and on the flip around is catapulted through the air. It's a damned sight, and one you'll surely never see again. Well, don't be so sure about that. The horse gets back to its feet and stares around confused, while Wolfgang's unconscious body flies over the finish line. You turn your palms to the horse owner, whose hands are gripping his head. By the old gods, man, are you not concerned for your sellsword? Well, actually I am a little bit, since I didn't remember who Wolfgang actually was, so it's one of our ranged characters. But that is surely worth it, so now Mr. Wolfgang can take a breather for a long while, probably. Well, two to five days. And let's bring in someone else. Let's bring in probably Theodobold. There we are. All right, so we are down one of our poachers, but yeah, that's gonna be, that's, that has to be worth it. All right. Nice event there. This, however, is decidedly not nice. Now, I am going to assume that they cannot catch up to us, but... No way am I fighting this. A hex, a few unholds, etc, etc. No way. 
Can we get there? Can we get there in time? I think we can. Yes, we can. Okay. All right. And what is this? What is this? This is follow the tracks. I will do that. We will also buy stuff here that we can sell. Don't need food currently. What about the recruits? There might be someone here who is worth it. So let's do the tryouts. Okay, probably not you. What about you, Kettlemund? Lucky and Bright doesn't have many perk groups available to them. So maybe not. Dumb and Athletic. Right, say no to that guy. Probably. Alright, and Arnett Butcher is quick and athletic. Hmm. Gets unstoppable. Gets overwhelmed. That could work if he gets initiative stars as well to go along with the quickness. So I will check this guy out. What about this cheap caravan hand? Strong brute? Hmm, probably not. But let's check this guy out. Two star melee defense, one star hit points, one star fatigue. Alright, so that's, um, that's usable. Gets shield expert. Probably would take dodge. Doesn't get Colossus, of course, but does get nine lives. And the star in hit points, so maybe... How many people do we have currently? 18. 18, huh? We'll reach 33 plus melee defense by level 11. Well... Level 11 plus, I should say. 37 resolve. I don't know. I think he's usable, definitely, but perhaps he's not good enough currently. Until a lot of us get killed in action. So let's let him go. Okay, let's follow the tracks. Is that the first marksman we've seen? It might be. Also, they are not afraid of us. Well. I think they should be, but you do you. Nice try. Right, let's just wait for them as usual. They're being a little bit coy currently. Not sure I like that. There you go, that's better. Do you have... or actually, yeah, this is 5 AP, so I don't want to move there just yet, I don't think. And in fact, yes indeed, I think the guy with the pike makes for the best target here. So let's go for that immediately. Alright, that's more like it. Okay, 82 or 82. Well, mm, guess we'll go for this guy. Well, it seems that the guy with the pike will indeed get a shot at us. Is there a point in using Kata Step? Not sure. Let's not. I 
Actually, maybe this position is better. 81. Now it's 91. And there we go, getting hit. But it's not too bad. Okay, Dithelm's initiative is 86, which is seemingly better than all of theirs. Let's just get in there. Okay, Baldwin. Take the high ground. Good one. Right. Come on, guys, you can do it. There you go. I just need a little bit of encouragement from time to time. Nearly, nearly. Alright, so this guy actually does have quite a high initiative. We have a 13% to hit him here. Twice. Do we have a better target? Maybe this one. Well, we might hit this guy who is in front. Yeah, let's try for it. Well, we did actually land the lucky hit, but he, he survives with one hit point. So it seems we are getting hit again. Unless I can cut a step. Nope, we miss a 70. Okay. Oh, that's that's just that is just rude. Come on. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. It's all fine. Getting hit in the head with a pike. Getting hit with getting hit in the head with a pike is not that bad in the world of Battle Brothers, as long as you don't die. And heal up in a week or less. Okay, so has this guy acted? No. Thirty-seven. Let's just wait for this guy to die as he flees, which will lower the resolve of the rest of them. Same with you. Baldwin, you can run away now. Alright. Uh, let's try to get this marksman, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, let's get next to him. It's fine. Acts in 12. Hmm. I would like to go for the marksman, but maybe I should go for the vandal here. 51 to hit him. Well, we did hit, but he's still alive. Never mind. Now he's dead. Well, that hurts. That does indeed hurt quite a bit. No steel brow, crappy helmet and 42 hit points means that getting hit in the head by an arrow is... Not a very pleasant experience. Okay, a little bit lucky there. What is with all these headshots? Come on. Come the hell on. Okay. 
All right, so Theodobolt will actually die if he gets hit in the head again. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. All right, it's not happening. And there we are, Hill Market, so level up. Hilmar now level 8. Plus 3 and plus 3 and probably the plus 4 resolve, even though I would like to get the plus 6 initiative. Alright, so probably we will get battle flow now, though duelist would also be good, as well as tempo and probably end guard. Let's just get battle flow, since we do have berserk. That will help quite a bit in managing fatigue. You two can sit out, you've earned it. Are you still afraid? Um, no. Okay, Hilmar, you may come into the lineup. Why are you pissed off? Felt useless. Alright, well, we don't want that, so get in there and take a shield. Also, you can sit out. Which means we bring in Hamdun, number two who hasn't actually taken part in a single battle yet. Right. Do we need to camp for a little bit? Not necessarily. Let's mark some of this stuff down for repairs. And let's return. Need to be a little bit careful so we don't run into that group of Hexen and and the allies of the Hex. Right, there we are. Let's wait for Dawn. Probably want to buy a little bit of food here since it lasts for so long and is quite cheap. We could also buy some tools, I suppose. Let's do that, and let's also get one stack of medicine. Alright, and now... I guess we could head towards Alpstad, we could go through this, this area here. See if there's anything there that we could destroy, but let's first head into Salzbrook. There we go, what is this? Caravan? I don't think so. Let's check the recruits here. Paranoid and clumsy. Okay, you are gifted, but I don't think that's good enough. Rising star, now that might, might be good enough. Yeah, that's a good special perk to have. However, you are gluttonous and disloyal. Even so, we could perhaps use this guy as long as he has decent stats and decent star distribution. We do have the money, so let's check him out. Okay, I don't think he's good enough. One star melee defense starting at two. That's basically it. So I don't think a rising star is going to justify keeping this guy around. Okay, you have leadership perks. But otherwise I am not convinced. Cocky and quick. Uh, I think I'll skip. F 
for this lower tier, guys, I am really looking for something like the Rising Star or other good special perks. This guy might be worthwhile, however, he's fragile, which is very bad, and also hesitant, which is slightly bad. But we can go Battleforged. So as a Vagabond, you don't actually get Promised Potential. You are only 153 though. So let's see... Nope, he's garbage. Okay. Good talk. Good buy. Okay, Albrecht the Fearless has... Um, Rally the Troops perk group. We might even want to have two people capable of rallying the troops based on how our encounters with ghosts have gone. This guy is very cheap, so I will also see about him. Okay, two star melee defense. This is probably good enough to keep around, at least for now. Athletic, fearless, two star melee defense, 57 starting melee skill. So, not spectacular by any means, but good enough. Let's call him Tank, Backup, Backup Sergeant, I guess. Something like that. That is the plan for now. He's very happy about being recruited. Let's give him a helmet of some sort, a dagger, a shield, a spear, and a crappy body armor. There you go. Alright. Buy some salt here. We can also sell some junk. Potential recruits have, well, they have left their horrible gear with us, so let's get rid of it. Let's buy the salt. Let's also buy tools. Sell a few other things and be done with this place. Good enough. Alright, now let's see about this area here. Hopefully we will find... ...something here, something that we can take on. Nothing that we see so far from atop the mountain. Okay, some Wiener Gangers. Which should be a relatively easy, straightforward fight, since they don't have a gazed backup. Uh, let's leave um, Hilmar behind and bring in the new guy. Uh, Musa should also probably be in the lineup. But who do we sit out in that case? Don't know, whatever, let's go with this. And let us also increase the combat speed to two. Get through this faster. Just end turn with everyone who doesn't have a ranged weapon for the first round. All 
right, wait, 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 wait. Should be a very easy fight, but also good experience. The loot will suck, but the experience will be very nice. Cut a step there to get a little bit closer. I think the plan for Ortwin is to get quick hands at some point. So we can use the pole flail and then switch into like a one-handed flail. That's exactly 9 AP as long as we don't move. Alright, five more. Four more. Three. Two. And now we need only this one. Okay, can you do it? No, you cannot. And you even get hit. Okay. And now the number is three again. Okay. One more. Come on. Okay, well, this should be the final round. There we go. Well, no level ups for anyone, but every little bit of experience point that we gain will help. Alright, let's head into Alpstad, I guess. Like it? 
I could scout this area first. We still have the inventory space. And the food. So I guess we will actually. Nothing. This was the zombie place that we failed at due to the ghosts. There might be a famed armor there. You don't see anything here. Okay, Wolfgang is healed up. Let's bring him in instead of Sivard, I suppose. Yeah, let's let Musa join the fighting line instead of Hamdun, number two. Still nothing, okay. Well, let's head into Windfest and then I'll start see about the recruits. Sell some stuff, maybe see about some contracts as well. All right. Here we are, lots of people available. Asthmatic cripple, I will say no thank you. Brave and loyal cripple, maybe. Three star melee skill, one star melee defense, one star fatigue, 44 starting resolve. Only 35 starting hit points, but I will keep this guy around with promised potential. Alright, that does mean that we are at 19 people again. So I need to get someone killed pretty soon. Oh, there is a sword master here. And we can even afford them. Hmm. I would like to spend my money on a donkey, actually, at this point. That's 5,000. So maybe spending 3,000 on a sword master is a bit of a waste. Maybe. Then again, he could be like basically a god. There's also an extremely cheap cripple here for 27. Okay, can't resist that. Can't resist the cripples. This guy also has 3 star melee skill. Starts 10 melee defense due to sure footing. Is also determined. However, he only has 31 hit points. But otherwise, he is very good. Hmm... So getting him to like level 11 is going to be a bit tricky. He also has a pretty good selection of perks actually for a cripple. Gets weapon master, gets battle flow, gets underdog. I don't actually know like what kind of perk groups you can get. Is it just random how many of them you can get if promised potential is a success? But if you can get something like Colossus out of this, then we can even patch up the hit points, perhaps. So yes, indeed, I think I'll keep this guy as well, and that means we are at full roster of 20. So I guess we will look for... Brigand camps and maybe nomad camps. Maybe you get some people killed there. I think that's the plan. Or maybe just some difficult contract will accomplish the same goal. Also, let's check. Are cripples fine with being in reserve? Yes, okay. Alright. Couple of decent cripples that we got out of that.
Alright, let's head into Alpstad. Who needs a sword master when you can, you can have cripples? Come on. Why splurge? Okay, a delivery. Going west. The thing is that we have already scouted this area. Don't remember what is um, what is over here though in the vac vacated dwellings. But I think we will not. We don't want to head west currently. We would like to head south perhaps, since we haven't found any brigands here. Maybe we have to go for nomads instead. Anyway, what is the selling price? 18. Okay, that's good. I guess I could sell the ancient gold coins here. It's good enough for that. Sell a lot of junk. Alright, that's actually enough money for the donkey. Easily, in fact. Hmm. I would like to keep one two-handed sword type as a reserve weapon in the inventory. But I should sell the other one. I guess I'll sell the Warbrand. Right. And now for the donkey, 5,000. 27 inventory slots. Yes, please. There we are. Alright, so yeah, how much food do we have it's for six days? Means we will buy grains here as well as some bread. Okay, good enough. Alright. Let's head to... Well, actually we could scout this area here. Head south, maybe head into Yadeburg. Alright. Might find a brigand encampment around, well, around here somewhere. Also, we do need to buy some more nets, so going south is a good idea. Buy nets at Al Hazif. We might even be up to fighting in the arena now. The arena is at. Um, Wadim, yeah, okay. Might head there. Okay, can't find anything. Let's scout this area as well. Nothing. Well, that's disappointing. I don't think we are up to taking on this wandering city. But let's head into Al, Al Hazif. Maybe there's a good contract that we can do. If not, then at least we can find some nets. Okay, here we are. Slave revolt, ambushed trade routes. Okay. Eat down the uprising. Okay, I will do that. No point in checking recruits, actually. Selling price is 19. That's good. We don't have anything to sell. Let's buy some nets, though. Alright. And as for the lineup... Hmm... Maybe the lineup that we currently have is good enough. I would like to get Hilamar killed. But maybe a slave revolt is not the place to do it. Yeah, let's just go with what we have. I think it will be fine. Oh, they're running again. 26 indebted way over there. Actually, we do need more food. A lot of it has spoiled. 
I remember that being an issue the last time we came here, actually. Need to keep an eye on the food reserves. Well, we can scout out the desert as well when we do this. Let's sort of indebted, okay? Engage. Killing off unruly slaves is of course something that Jean-Luc Picard would approve of. Uh, combat speed is at 2. I suppose that's fine for this. They do actually have the potential to kill people since they have backstabber and strength in numbers. But obviously since we have a full roster of 20, it's not that big of a deal. Ernst has 73 initiative, which is seemingly more than they do, meaning that we can end his turn there and still be able to activate shield wall before they act. 65 now though, well, still better. Okay, maybe okay, Albrecht, hmm. Uh, let's use you over there, I guess. Okay, 21 left. Fail. Alright, the fight is won. What a glorious victory.
combat music also agrees that this was a very epic fight. Alright, one more. There we are. The Battle for the Ages. I pick up their junk. Our work is done. I suppose we can take a quick look about the Wandering City's enemy composition. Maybe it has changed. Uh, Desert Stalkers, a few leaders. Lots of outlaws. Yeah, no thanks. And also many archers. No way. Not currently. There we are, and what is this? Drive of Nomads. Southwest. Okay, I don't think so, because yeah, we'll need to go the long way around and then come all the way back. And it's only a one skull. Anyway, let's see. Four days of food. Okay, let's sell off this garbage that we just got. And continue. Let's head through this area and head to Brunenthal or Quadim, one or the other, maybe even both. People are enjoying the food. Also, yes, we are on an ambition to defeat packs of rowing beasts. Might make a priority out of that. Alright, nothing here. Uh, let's head into Brunenthal. A three skull caravan contract. Now the reward is pretty good, but it's kind of unlikely that we'll be able to accomplish this. So probably skip that. Let's instead see about the southern city-states, what they have for us. Maybe like a nomad or beast contract. We could also head north and start fighting some barbarians. I'm a little bit worried about the armored unholds that we might encounter though. Okay, one skull caravan contract. Caracan. I uh, shouldn't check the recruits when we have a full roster. I'm not going to fire anyone. Let's just get them killed instead. Um, what about the arena? What would be what would we be fighting? Two nachos. Two. Okay, I think we'll take that. Now the only problem is if two nachos means that one or even both of them are big ones. So who the hell comes for this? Would be nice to be able to stun them, but we don't have a mace specialist. We could um, equip a golden dag on Valdemar that enables stunning. Hmm. Yeah, I don't 
I don't remember how this goes if there's only two of them. So I guess we'll equip a golden deck. Then again, we can also use spear wall with this. If there's two big ones, then we're definitely fucked. But if there's one big one and one medium one, then I guess we'll do. We'll be fine. Hopefully. Hmm. I could even bring in another guy with a golden deck. Don't really want to level up Hilmar, but he would be good in this fight. Beethelm would also be good as long as I knew what we were facing exactly. Hmm. Apparently I can't stun any of them. Really should have like a mace specialist. Why do I not have one? Why do I not have one? Do people even have maces available to them? Theodobald does. Okay, Theodobald is only level 4 and has 45 hit points though, so maybe maybe I shouldn't risk him here. Elmfried would be good in the form of damage, but otherwise he's kind of a liability. Okay, I think we probably want to start out Valdemar with a Golden Dag, just to have that stunning available as an option, so let's do that. Have the Fighting Spear as a backup in the inventory. Ilmar is coming. Maybe like Ortwin or Deathhelm. 23 melee defense, 38 melee defense. But the thing is that a military pick is not going to be a good weapon against beasts. So maybe it's going to be Ortwin who comes. Hmm. I am a little bit scared, even though it's only two nachos. If it's two big ones, like I said, then we might be in serious shit here. Maybe I should bring a net as well. The thing is, though, everyone's using a two-handed weapon, so using a net here is not going to be something that we can do with ease. Unless I give them a different sort of weapon. I don't have a good sword, though. Unless an arming sword counts. Uh, let's take a look. What is the double grip bonus, anyway? 10% more damage, 20% damage ignores armor, skills build up, 33% less fatigue. Okay, maybe to be safe we should bring in the nets. Hmm. Maybe even start out with one. Maybe have a shield in the inventory just in case. Alright, um, let's go with this. See how we do. Okay, one big one, one medium one. Let's just hold position, use the net when they close the distance on the big one and then also try to stun it. Which we probably will be able to accomplish. Hmm, that's rude. Swallow Hall is 9 AP. Nice to know about all of these abilities. Kind of rude of you to stop there and wait. This will still go for it already. Okay, knockout 47 only. Without the net. Fail. Fail. Mm. 
Well, it's not going well. And the thing is, if I use the net now, then it can break free from it immediately. We have more initiative than it does, though. But the problem is that Voldemar has more initiative than Hilmar does, so we might be seriously screwed here. Okay, good thing that that missed. Let's turn down the combat speed to 1. Alright, I suppose we will continue to try for a knockout. We do also have help from... Fast adap not nimble, fast adaptation. However, when we land the hit, we also need to be a little bit lucky and not fail the 75%. So let's try for it. 72. Okay, there we go. Stunned. Wait. Get hit there, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and use the net. I think we'll just try to... Well, actually, hmm. I will go for another stun, I guess. But since we're positioned the way we are, we will also go for the kill on the big one first. Alright, stun has worn off. Maybe we don't need to go for another stun. Actually, maybe we can just kill it now. Okay, good one. Okay, come on. 90. There we go. Alright. A lot of preparation went into that. Just for two nachos, but I think it was called for. Anyway, yeah, let's take this caravan as well. We are running out of food. So we will need to buy some as soon as we arrive. Alright, got there. Mirage sightings, but also good harvest. So the food should be plentiful. Alright, let's buy rice. Let's also buy dates. Seven days. Yeah, buy all of it. Let's also buy bread. Spices would make a little bit of a profit. Let's also buy a throwing net. Okay, what are these contracts? Another caravan. A forced land. Probably not. One skull ifrits. Hmm. Not sure I want to do even a one skull ifrit contract. I don't remember how tough they are in vanilla, nor do I know how they've been changed for reforged. Since it is one skull, we can probably do it, but I'm not sure how worthwhile it would be. It would also count for the ambition, of course. I will think about what to do on my own time. It's been a long enough episode, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.